Minister of Education Peter Fassbender was in Kelowna this week, and he took time to tour the $15 million, 300 student edition at Okanagan Mission Secondary School. Well, we certainly need to have a little room to expand, but additionally to that, we've got some, some great new spaces that are being created, so that our, it's not just about size anymore, now it's about some learning opportunities for students, where you know they've got really 21st century learning environments that are being created, and so our staff, our students are really excited about that. We're going to take you this way and, and go around the academic block uh, edition. Uh, this is totally a uh, total project of an uh, increase of 300 student addition, which is to take the students who are currently in this annex uh, structure and put them into the main building. And then a year from now, the grade sevens will be uh, located in this annex structure. Uh, these glass uh, partitions here looks into a, a courtyard. And that's going to be um, exposed to the elements uh, and used partly by the art uh, uh, program and partly by the rest of the school. So, mm -hmm. so that courtyard there and then off to the right side of the uh, elevation here is the 16 classroom addition that's going in. And you can see the, the pipe stub out and as we walk further on you can see the uh, foundation and footings oh, being yes. poured over here. So the scope of this um, is about to here. It's huge. Yes, uh, this this is the. Uh, so, how many square meters is it all together? Uh, the total addition uh, is about three thousand square meters. Wow. And there's another thousand square meters of renovated space inside. Right. And some of those spaces um, are functional. This art room we tackled here earlier um, a few months ago. Um, and some of these spaces you get in, you uh, make them functional again for September, and then you continue to sort of polish them off. And we're in the, the music room doing that as we speak. As you look back to where these orange tarps are, this wall comes uh, quite a bit this way, and that becomes inside space as part of the new drama room. So currently behind those orange tarps is a half-size gym. That's going to be repurposed and then added on to for the new drama space. Um, that's going to hold, I think, about 130 uh, seats for uh, like a black box style um, theater or drama space. Uh, and then right here behind me, obviously, is the new gym, exactly the same size as the current large gym um, with slightly higher ceilings. Kelowna is one of the areas, this school district is one of the areas where we're seeing growth in pockets again. Some areas are declining, other areas are growing, so they're managing it. The school board's doing a great job in terms of managing the facilities and managing both new construction and additions like we saw here. The addition is, uh, is coming along very well. It's going to be on time and on budget, I understand, so that's always a good thing. When you've got you know, multiple areas that are being um, worked on at a time when you're trying to teach and learn, it makes it a bit challenging for sure, but again, with the end product being the goal, that's, that's making everyone live through it. A little short-term pain for long-term gain. With the student additions needing to be completed for fall of 2014, these construction crews certainly have their work cut out for them. But so far, optimism is running high, and the contractors, along with the teachers and students, are learning a little lesson about cooperation. For KelownaNow.com, this is Ben Gummany reporting.